Hello again, you're with UTV Live tonight. Over the next three nights, we'll be bringing you a special series of features on Linfield Football Club. There's been some dark chapters, or there have been some dark chapters in the club's history, but in recent years, the club has mirrored the changes in Northern Ireland society in a very positive way. With the first of our reports, here's Neil Britton. This is Windsor Park, the home of Linfield, once regarded as a Protestant club for Protestant people. But no longer. It still draws the vast majority of its support from one side of the community, but its squad is one of the most diverse in the Irish League. I've basically played like all my life, first by my local club, Straban. Um, nothing really to tell, honestly. Just stayed at the play club level, just enjoyed it. Like, I enjoy the game, like, I mean, I enjoy still going to watch the boys and all that. I couldn't say a bad word about anybody, you know, everybody's took me in and just, then they just want you to do well for Lumfield no matter where you're from. The fans have been brilliant for all the, the Catholics and the Protestant players when we're playing. It's, there's, 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 no, <laughs> there's no religion, it's just there's just a good banter here and we're all here for football and it's one religion really. You know, provided I think you're, you're doing your bit on the pitch and you're trying your hardest and the fans see that, you know, I think sport's sport and religion's religion. Don't care if you're from Mars, as long as you want to play for Linfield, as long as you want to play in a blue jersey, and as long as you're good enough to play for Linfield, that's all that concerns me. All that concerns me. And as I say, that Linfield, I suppose, reflect um, in a very positive way the changes that, that there has been in our country. Um, but m my group of players, they're only concerned about one thing, and that's we're in the blue of Linfield and, and winning trophies. So that's the present. What about the past? Well, this plaque is the only reminder of what's now a shopping centre was once a football club. Belfast Celtic, who withdrew from the Irish League after serious crowd trouble at nearby Windsor Park on Boxing Day 1948. At the end of the match, which ended in a, in a one-all draw, uh, and in which uh, three players were sent off, there was a riot. Uh, Linfield supporters came on from the Spy on Cop, and Jimmy Jones was attacked. His leg was broken and um, after that the Celtic directors decided that uh, they would take their own action and they, they decided to withdraw from football. Fast forward to 1990 and the next time Linfield played a Celtic side, this time it was Donegal Celtic in the Irish Cup. The game made headlines around the world for all the wrong reasons. The crowds went out of control as soon as they arrived at the ground and the police ordered the kickoff to be put back by half an hour. Protestant Linfield supporters broke through security cordons in their stand and massed in a position which was within throwing distance of the Donegal Celtic fans. Shortly after kickoff, trouble broke out again. A missile struck a Donegal Celtic player and a Linfield fan ran onto the pitch to kick another Donegal Celtic player. At the end of the first half, Donegal Celtic fans who had been trying to dismantle fencing fought with the police. At half time, we had to, you know, we had the discussion whether we we're going to go back out again, you know, because we we're afraid of someone getting killed, and at the end of the day, it wasn't worth that. At the start of the second half, the police had regrouped, and there was a baton charge on Donegal Celtic supporters who were hurling stones, bricks, and bottles. The police again opened fire with baton rounds. There had been controversy well before the match, which Linfield won 2-1. It had been drawn to be played at Donegal Celtic's ground in the heart of Catholic West Belfast. But organisers switched the venue to Linfield's Windsor Park ground for security reasons. Donegal Celtic unsuccessfully took legal action to try and move the match to a neutral ground. As hijacked buses burned in the aftermath, some football officials claimed the policing of the match was inadequate. 30 people have been injured in some of the worst scenes of sectarian violence here involving sport. Again, that was probably, you know, a reflection or a mirror image of, of what was going on in the, in the country at the time. Um, and there was people here on that particular day who were just intent on trouble. They had no interest in the game of football. This plaque in the Donegal Celtic boardroom is a poignant and ironic reminder of what was a dark day for local football. But 16 years later, the wounds were well and truly healed.
It was the first time that Linfield played DC at Suffolk Road in nationalist West Belfast. The warmth and the friendship and the welcome was, was something else. Uh, we had such a, a fantastic day. It was all about the football. It wasn't about us, you know, go, going to Donegal Celtics ground or, or, or bringing anything up from the past. It was just about the football. But the warmth and the, and the welcome we got from the people of Donegal Celtic was absolutely superb. We were royally treated. Um, good day all round, and I remember we won 1 0, so I was pleased about that. To have a team like Glenfrey come up was unbelievable for the whole community. Um, fantastic day beforehand, you know, with a pre match. With, we got the players together and told them this isn't an ordinary team you're playing at Linfield Football Club. Um, the whole day went really, really well apart from the result. But even after the game, uh, absolutely fantastic. You know, the Linfield players all came in, said and had a drink, bit of food. The board of committee came upstairs, David Jeffrey came up and um, a fantastic day all round. Tomorrow night we'll show you how Linfield were welcomed back to solitude after being banned from playing Cliftonville there for 28 years. Neil Britton, UTV Live tonight.